An elephant's trunk is flexible, transmits large forces, and serves the pachyderm as a precise gripping tool. Characteristics that are also requirements for automation systems. This is where biological principles provide new impulses for technology. For their bionic handling assistant, Festo engineers were inspired by the elephant's trunk. It could in future find applications from agriculture to medical technology, all the way to domestic households, as well as for the support of the elderly and disabled people. Direct contact between machines and their human operators is no longer hazardous, because the bionic handling assistant yields immediately, without modifying its desired overall dynamic behavior. Just like a real trunk, it's supple as it moves. This is facilitated by three basic elements as well as a hand axis with a ball joint combined with a bionic gripper. The basic elements are extremely flexible and transmit large forces with minimal self-weight. These make the bionic handling assistant exceedingly efficient in its use of resources. Its production uses the innovative rapid manufacturing procedure, an individual three-dimensional print. Coat by coat, the laser beam hardens a special synthetic resin. The bionic gripper is also used on the bionic tripod 2.0, another biomechatronic handling system. Its fingers adapt to every shape. This was inspired by a fish's fin. The same principle, called the fin ray effect, also applies to the bionic tripod 2.0, which is unique in rotating through 90 degrees. Together with the gripper, the bionic tripod 2.0 is capable of picking up or depositing in different positions and at different heights objects that need to be gripped. Its minimal self-weight facilitates safe human-machine interaction making it an energy-efficient assistant when it comes to sorting and moving fragile products. Safe interaction between man and machine is also especially important in basic and advanced training. The modular lightweight handling system opens up completely new perspectives. Its low weight means it may be operated also without a protective cage. Apprentices can not only assemble it easily, but also learn how to program a robot. Whether one or six axes, the modular lightweight handling system can be converted to suit every desired application. With a payload of 800 grams, it's as suitable for pick and place applications as it is for the automation of lab processes or in service robotics. The ability to control the forces of nature has always been a challenge for mankind. The CyberKite, a 24 square meter controllable kite, confronts this challenge. It's capable of remaining in the air for hours by itself, autonomously and independent of energy sources and devoid of external power, even in adverse wind conditions. This is made possible by a control unit, which is programmed not for rigid tethering, but for intelligent yielding. The Mechatronic Power Unit utilizes the latest Festo automation technology. The energy created by the reeling and unreeling of the control lines is immediately utilized for the flying of the CyberKite. Any excess energy is stored in state-of-the-art batteries. The ram pressure wing develops powerful forces. Lifting an automobile would present no problem. Perhaps the CyberKite could also point to new ways for the future generation of renewable energy.